Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my guava barbecue sauce. I don't know if you've ever had guava barbecue sauce, but at a restaurant that we go to sometimes, it's a little bit far from here, so we don't go often. I had to make this at home myself because it's one of our favorite barbecue sauces to use. I pour this sauce over rice, our pulled pork, and it is just delicious, okay? This is what you're going to look for in the grocery store. It's guava paste. This is one of the big um, tins that it comes in, but they do come in like plastic packages and different brands and stuff like that. It's a lot that's going to be in here, but I'm going to store it in a Ziploc bag and place it in my fridge. I use this guava paste on tarts and um, on cookies and different things like that. I wouldn't say cookies, more like crackers when I make my guava cream cheese paste and... Um, in tarts for breakfast and stuff like that. So there's a lot of uses for this guava. The most I've been using it for is my barbecue sauce because I made this barbecue sauce so many times since I started making it and it is so, so, so good. So even if you've never had it, I recommend trying it because it is amazing. So I'm going to start off with two tablespoons of this guava paste here in a small saucepan. I'm going to add in about a quarter cup of water. And then I'm going to add in my barbecue sauce. So it's literally just three ingredients that you're going to need to make this. And it's it's our favorite. I mean, even my smallest, my youngest, she wants the sauce over everything because it is so, so, so good. The balance of the sweetness from the guava um, with the barbecue sauce and everything is just amazing. So just add your favorite barbecue sauce, mix it, and I'm going with about three quarter cup to a cup of barbecue sauce, and we're just going to mix this all in and stir. We want this to be on like medium low heat because the squava is going to cook down. It's a lot of sugar. It's a really, really sticky paste. Um, so I'm just warning you right now because it is really sticky, but you can take your spoon and you can break up the guava or you can just cut it up before you even put it in your saucepan. It's just gonna help it cook down a little bit faster. So I'm just breaking it up here with my spoon and we're just gonna let this go on like medium low heat for about maybe five minutes, four to five minutes. This guava will start to melt down and all the sugars and everything that's in it, it's gonna start to thicken up that sauce. Now, when you get this at the restaurant, it's not a very thick, thick sauce. It's actually a runny sauce that you pour over your pulled pork or whatever it is that you're using it for. So you definitely don't want this to be too thick, so you don't want it to cook down too much. And that's why I also added in that little bit of water. So just stir it. I'm just trying to break this up here. Keep an eye on it, of course. If you do you want to add the great thing about this is you can alter this too if you want a little bit more guava taste if you want a little bit more barbecue sauce taste if you do want it a little bit more thicker go ahead and you do you boo but this is a great ratio for me i feel like it's got a perfect balance of flavors it's not too overpowering on the guava and it's not too overpowering on the barbecue sauce i mean it is barbecue sauce so so let this go still got some chunks there just kind of break that up a little bit, smush it towards the sides of your saucepan. And after maybe four minutes or so, it's reduced a little bit. It's thickened up a little bit, but this is a perfect consistency right here. It is the perfect consistency of barbecue sauce, in my opinion. There's a little chunk that needs a little bit of smudging. And that is it. Like three ingredients. And again, if you've never had this at like a restaurant or anywhere else, that, that or it, I don't know, it's just so good. Just give it a try. Um, you can find the guava paste in, the, usually it's in the international section in your grocery aisles. So it's really easy to find. Um, I can find it pretty much in any grocery store I go to. I serve this over my pulled pork when I make my beans and rice. I serve it over the beans oh my goodness the flavor with the beans and the pulled pork and the jalapenos and i even use my yuca fries with this as well i'll leave that recipe down link below it is so good it is amazing it's just something so simple but it is delicious i hope you give it a try and if you try and enjoy it let me know i'll see you next time Bye bye